Hey folks, it's Andy with Vlog Media. I'm here with Wendell with the Hyundai Technical Group. Wendell, one of the biggest issues with the previous generations of the Genesis sedan was the suspension. So I hear there's some new improvements in this upcoming Genesis. Yeah, there have been a number of improvements on this new car, so I'd be happy to take you for a ride in it, and you can, we can talk in detail on some of those changes. Sounds good. Let's take a ride. Okay. Talk about a little bit about the um, improvements in this generation of the, the Genesis compared to the previous sedan. Right, so uh, from a chassis standpoint, uh, there were improvements to help with vehicle dynamics, cornering response, um, also to help improve ride comfort and just the overall dynamics of the car. So for this V8, uh, we've gone to a continuously damping controlled uh, shock absorber that um, is always adjusting based on the road input. You also have the opportunity to uh, switch from a normal mode, which is a little bit softer, more compliant, to a sportier that uh, gives you a little bit more um, fun or uh, aggressive driving capabilities, but still without being harsh and uncomfortable. Right. Tied to that, uh, we've gone from the electro-hydraulic steering system that was on the previous car to this uh, rack-mounted um, MDPS electronic steering system. So with that, you know, you should see a, an, an, a more uh, precise and uh, good steering feel uh, from the car and uh, some good responsiveness. Um, then also there were areas where uh, they improved the uh, capabilities of the powertrain mounting. So we've gone to fully electronic um, powertrain mounts, which uh, give you more dynamic and damping characteristics. Also helps with NVH and ride comfort. And then uh, many ride or uh, NVH improvements to the car, including the fully enclosed underbody, and then uh, some enhancements in the engine department just to keep the cabin more quiet, isolated from road input. Nice. It seemed like the previous generation, it had, there was a little bit of a disconnect between the suspension and the rest of the car. And this car, uh, I know there was a little bit more of a, a team effort or integration between all different engineering uh, teams to make this car more of a complete and work all the systems work together was was that right. the case that is the case and actually we even had the cooperation of uh, a couple engineers from Lotus engineering that would come over at uh, key points for uh, different releases for the specifications just to give us an unbiased opinion on the tuning that we have done and areas where they felt that you know we might be able to enhance things a little bit better so right. that collaboration was very key in order to make this car come together right so about uh, how many uh, how much time was put into just the chassis suspension oh uh, well I mean we've spent the last year and a half doing uh, chassis tuning for this vehicle and just uh, working with our guys in Korea to come up with necessary changes specific to issues in North America. Right, very good. Well, we're on a, a really nice drive in Arizona. We're, uh, you know, definitely uh, going to put the car through its bases. And uh, so far, only good things to say about it so far. So thanks for uh, giving us the, the lowdown on uh, what's going on underneath the car. Appreciate it. You're welcome.